Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of this circle that is tangent to these squares. The area of this blue square is 9, whereas the area of this red square is 4. And moreover, the horizontal distance between these two squares is 2, as you can see in this given figure. Let's go ahead and get started with our solution and here is our very first step. Let's go ahead and draw the radii. That means we're going to draw one radius very carefully with this one and the other one is going to be right up here and I'm going to call this point A, the center A, and this point I'm going to call point B and this point I'm going to call point C and I'm going to call these this radius R and this radius R as well. And here is our nicer looking graph with radius R on this side and radius R as well. And here is our next step. We are going to draw a perpendicular from point this B to on this line segment AC somewhere on point I am going to call this point D. So let's go ahead and draw this perpendicular. That means this angle is 90 degrees. And here is our much nicer looking graph once we have created a perpendicular between point B and D. And here is our next step. We are going to draw a tangent and the tangent is going to be on this point C and it is going to go somewhere here. I'm going to call this point E in this blue on this blue box. And here is our much nicer looking graph once we have drawn this tangent line CE as you can see over here. And here is tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. That means this tangent line and this radius, they are going to be perpendicular. There's going to be a 90 degrees angle between them. And now let's go ahead and focus on this rectangle B, D, C, E as I have highlighted over here. And here's the definition of a rectangle. It has four angles all measuring 90 degrees each. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel. So that means all these angles are 90 degrees each and this side is in the same length of this one and they are parallel likewise this side is in the same length of this one and they are parallel as well now in this next step we are going to focus on this blue box which has uh, an area nine so we are going to find out the length of each side of this square. And here's the area of a square formula, A equal to S square, where S represent the side of this uh, square. So that means the length of this blue square is going to be 3, 3, 3 each side because if we multiply 3 times 3 is going to give us 9. Now we are going to focus on this red square and once again we're going to be using this formula A equal to S square and we know that the area is 4 that means the length of this side is going to be a 2, 2, 2 and 2 over here because 2 times 2 is going to give us 4. Now let's look at this thing. This side of this blue square is 3 units and this side of the red square is 
two units. So the difference between these two is going to be a one. So I can write this side, this is going to be one. So the length of this line segment CD is one. And we know that this whole thing is radius R. So we wanna find out this length of this line segment AD that is gonna be R minus one. So that is going to be R minus one. So thus the length of this side AD is going to be R minus one for this part. And moreover, the distance the horizontal distance between these two squares is two units. So that means this is going to be two units as well. EC is going to be, EC is going to be two units as well. And since this is a rectangle, both these sides are same. That means this side is going to be two units as well. And now let's go ahead and focus on this highlighted triangle ADB. And here is our magnified triangle ADB as you can see over here. And since this triangle is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and call this side bd as an a side and this side I'm going to call side b and this longest leg we always going to call this side c. And here's our Pythagorean theorem formula a square plus b square equal to c square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case a is 2 so that's going to become 2 square plus in our case b is r minus 1 and then square equal to c in our case is r that is going to become r square so let's go ahead and simplify 2 square is going to be 4 plus and we are going to expand r minus 1 square by using this formula a minus b square. So that is going to give us r square minus 2 times r plus 1 square is going to be 1 equal to r square. And as we can see that this r square and this r square on both sides, they cancel each other out. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. Add 4 plus 1 is going to become 5 minus 2r is going to be 0. So that means 2r equals to 5. That means r is going to be 5 over 2. And here is our final step. We are going to calculate the area of this circle. And here's the area formula pi r square. Let's go ahead and figure it out. Area equal to pi r square and pi time r in our case is 5 over 2. And we square it, that is going to give us 25 pi over 4. Thus the area of this circle turns out to be a 25 pi over 4 square units are approximately equal to 19.63 square units. And that's our answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.